Hey everybody, it's Billy at Being Tough, man. I'm talking to you through the center of a Soundbox Bluetooth speaker. I keep my feelings locked away. I throw the key like a bouquet. My heart's been beating round the block. Now that thing's locked up like Fort Hey everybody, it is Billy at Being Tough back for another review at the cabin. That's right, we are here with the Soundbox Bluetooth speaker. Man, this thing's legit. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. This is not a typical speaker from a box store. First off, it's a giant piece, but this is probably the largest Bluetooth speaker you can get, and it's a high-end product. This is something for someone that's serious about doing weddings, DJing, uh, serious karaoke events, or if you have mega parties, this is probably the speaker. This is not, like I said, this is not for someone that's really tight on a budget and has a few bucks to spend. This is for someone that wants the best. That's what this is, the Bluetooth speaker. So we're also going to take a look at the boom. We're going to be taking a look at the Soundbox Bluetooth microphone. It's going to set this whole machine up. I think it's going to be an awesome karaoke uh, experience. Man, I'm telling you what, we're getting it on out here with the karaoke. And I can't wait. We're having deck parties. So when all that's done, this thing should be legit. I can't wait to open it up and take a look at it all. We're also going to compare it to other speakers that we've done in the past. That way you can kind of make your own judgment for yourself. All right, let's open it. Let's take a look at the Soundbox Bluetooth speaker. Well, here it is, and you can tell that it kind of has some unique things going on with it, especially these corner pieces, which I really do like. It's kind of like a soft, rubbery corner piece. It's gonna keep the edges from getting dinged up real bad. Um, for stacking, if you're gonna get multiple ones, I believe you're gonna be able to stack them really easy on top of each other, and uh, it just keeps it from getting damaged. Now, this unit is water, uh, I think, resistant. I wouldn't say you could throw it in the bottom of a lake, but you can spill if your buddies get drunk and they spill their drink on it. It doesn't mean it's going to be ruined. Uh, it should be able to take a little bit of splashing. If you got it around pools, I don't think you got to worry about water getting splashed on it. I think it'll be okay. By the looks of it, this has two 10 inch subwoofers and a large cone tweeter. I have a feeling this is going to throw some serious bass. Uh, we've done some stuff in the past with the Party Box 100, two, actually, two Party Box 100s. And even though the sound was pretty decent on those, they didn't have like the serious bass that I think this is gonna throw. But we'll find out more about that later. So I believe these right here as well are sound tubes right here that you might see like in speaker boxes. So it allows the bass to hit on the speaker and you know, it's not compacted air. I, I'm almost positive that's what this is. I'm not the engineer, but it looks, like a vent to the inside of the speaker so that I have a feeling that these things are going to have some a little bit of bass to them if they put those in there. So this is awesome for carrying. So let's say I'm here. Look, I'm here for the party, right? And, uh, you know, whatever you're, however you're going to do it. I'm thinking of how, you know, I'm coming to a party. I got to carry this in. I definitely like that. This is how you're going to be able to control the Bluetooth. I think you can daisy, I know you can, you can daisy chain these together. You can have like six of these, seven, you can have, I don't know how many you can have, but you'll be able to connect them all with this. And that's going to be really cool. One thing I do like though, dude, I love this, man. You're, I wish you could feel, I know you can't, you can't see it, but one of the problems that I, I had with the party box 100s was that is volume control. Like where am I at? Am I going up and down? Dude, this thing right here, I can't, this thing feels as high end and stiff as you could ever imagine. It feels like a rock solid piece of steel. Man, that's amazing right there. I love the way that is. We're going to power that up here in a bit and we'll take a look at that. So here's your connections. If you want to add a guitar, a microphone, uh, AUX in, there's AUX out. Not too many people use AUX ins anymore, but you never know if you do have AUX in, but you will have connections. Like I said, for anything that you want to plug into it, it'll go into this connection right here. We'll get into that in a little bit as well. One thing about this speaker system is its battery. This is different than like the JBL series where the battery is internal. And I don't know what happens when the battery goes out. I guess the speaker's box is only plugged in only. Well, this one, you could buy another battery later on. Let's see how this goes in. I haven't read the instructions, but it's very, looks pretty easy. This will probably slide in like so. You just push it in. And then this cord right here slides right there. And boom, I think we're in. And if you want to take it out, you do this. And this cord right here is really nice. It's going to help you pull it. Because it is in there nice and firm. It doesn't flop around. And there you go. The battery charger, pretty simple, um, has this. And then they offer, I guess, a U.S. connection. AC, DC, I don't know. I don't, I'm not an electrician expert, but this is what we use in the United States, right? And then this one right here, which I believe they may use in the U.K. Let's see here. 
Yeah, the two prong system. So you get two choices, however you want to plug it in. Either one plugs right into here. Boom, plug it in and you're charging. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go over and download the Soundbox app from your app store. Pretty simple. And uh, it'll allow you to control everything through here. Let's see here, here's your, on your volume. Very simple, right? And you have some EQ. Now some of this stuff's above my pay grade. I'm actually gonna go back and Just a tick. Sorry about that. Um, so you do have some stuff here. You have a pro panel, which is a mixer. So let's say you have uh, you want your mic louder or less, so you can hit mic, and you could you know mess around with it a little bit where you want it to be on the mic level, right? So this is like an EQ. Whoops. Right. So. Imagine that's an EQ, right? So you have treble on one side, bass on the other. That's cool. Guitar, you can do the same thing. You can adjust the guitars how you want it to sound. That's really nice. For a lot of people, the microphones is going to be the big thing because if I buy this to put on weddings for people, I got to make sure that the sound sounds really good. I can't hand someone a mic in their most important time of their life and it sound tinny or it not work or is this working, it's not working. It just functionally works. It plugs in, it works, it sounds phenomenal. I mean, this is good as it gets for a microphone, right? Okay, so this is the Soundbox mic right here that plugs in. Now, this is a Bluetooth mic and it's not quite as good, so I'm gonna show you the difference. Here's this and here's this. Can you tell the difference? It's a little bit louder on the Soundbox. Now, you might be able to adjust the Bluetooth one up a little bit louder, I'm not sure. But um, like I said, either one's going to work out good. If you don't want the wires, maybe the aftermarket. But the Soundbox one, I think for the quality of the sound is probably a little bit better. Um, if you're a coach, man, I, I see this like if you're a sports coach, let's say your football team, this is a really good deal. Man, you put this on the 50-yard line, you want to yell at the guys on one side of the field, great. If you want to yell on the other side, hey, what are you doing over there? Blah, blah, bring it in, take a knee, all that stuff. This would be really good for a coach. So if you ever, you know, if you are part of a team and you want to have a sound system, this would be really good. Um, now, I haven't tested this with the music. I don't know what it's going to do. This could be a dynamic flop. I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work, but let's find out here. So I'm just going to put some music on. And I'm not going to do karaoke, but I will put music on. And we'll see if we're, we got anything here. Microphone check. One, two, one, two. There you go. Microphone check. One, two, one, two. All right. So this works perfect. Let's try this one. Microphone check. One, two, one, two. All right, so they're both working. But like I said, if the sound box out, I can adjust this on a high ground. I'm going to see if I can bring this way up a little higher on channel two. This one sounds really good. But either way, now here, here's, like I said, here's the oxygen. I'm going to do it right here. Check this out. No squeal, no squeal. No squeal, no squeal. That's awesome, man. You put these right in front of the speakers. You're not going to get a squeal. It doesn't matter if someone crosses your path. That was a problem I had with the character thing we did not too long ago. It's decent, but anytime the mice got close, dude, it's high pitched. And it's a reverb. I don't know what it's called, but it squealed. This doesn't do that. I ain't got to worry about it. I ain't got to worry about uh, if you're at a wedding and you hand it to the groom and you hand it to the bride. They're not talking next to each other and you get a squeal that blows everybody's ears out. That's not going to happen. So as far as the mics, really good. You can do it your, you can do it, uh, your own way off the grid with the uh, Bluetooth of your own. Or you can do it with the Soundbox mic, which is rock solid as well. All right, so I've had some time to play around with it. And so here's where this speaker separates from the JBL line. Um, in close range, they I don't want to say they're close because it's still louder, but where you really see the difference is the long range. And that, in large part, is because of this horn tweeter. I've done some reviews on uh, some uh, wet sound red tins, if you've watched some of our stuff on that. And those are meant for throwing long range sound. Well, with the sound box, this does the same thing. So you're gonna be able to reach super far on this. And I think I'm gonna, there's nobody here. There's nobody, well, there's nobody here. So let, we're gonna go out, I'm gonna do a test and I'll get, I'll see how far back I can get, dude. We'll just let it rip, man. The more they can do, throw me out of here. So let's do it. Let's see how far we can get because I'm telling you, this horn tweeter, it sends it. Let's check it out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play these ones first and I'm gonna get off the deck. We're gonna go half throttle. I'm gonna go off the deck and we'll check out the throw on it. 
All right, I'm gonna get back here and I don't wanna get bit by snakes. So we are probably about 50 yards away. Okay, Nicole, are you there? Okay, go ahead, hit it. Okay, there's two party box 100s. Halfway, each of them halfway. So that's four speakers moving halfway. Okay, I'm gonna go over there and set up the sound box and we'll hear what that sounds like. All right, so now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do the sound box and that's where I have it. I'm trying to do that as evenly as I can. So halfway, just like the other ones were, and I'll go stand over there and we'll see where we're at. All right, so here we are with the sound box test. About the same, I don't know, about 50 yards. All right, go ahead, Nicole, hit it. All right, so that's very clear. And uh, so you can imagine, I mean, this big space out here, right? Whatever you got going on. And you could have a dance party out here. I mean, I'm just trying to listen to it right now. Yeah, definitely good. A lot of throw, very good. Uh, you saw us compare it with the two JBL 100s. The JBL 100s, I have to say, were plugged into the wall, which makes that speaker about 15 to 20% louder than it would be if it was on its own. But still, I think that these on a long throw have a clearer sound. And, I, and that beca that's because of this horn speaker they put in here. They put them on wake boats too, man. And that's because it throws the sound far. And that's what a concert speaker does. They have those horns and that's what that did. Um, it, the, the sound is really good. I mean, it, the bass sounds good. It sounds very balanced i think i think that's a good word um the overall oh and i want to mention this because i didn't talk about this that you can actually get the grills in different colors it's pretty neat they really do a good job in trying to personalize the speaker for you i mean there's count i don't know how many different colors. it looked like there's like five to eight different colors i mean everything from bright oranges greens reds whatever it is you can get this thing changed and it'll fit your style whatever it is and of course i thought it was pretty cool they give you your own team id don't be stealing my team id either dude but they give you a team id that you have when you log into your app it kind of personalizes everything it makes it yours and i thought that was really cool um i thought the engineering of this whoever designed this man over at soundbox man give that guy a pat on the back because he did a really good job at putting this all together i mean the design of the corners the grill how it, you can swap the grills this stuff right here you saw our video we're kind of looking through it that, so you know it really makes the sound really good and then it's also functional and how heavy i mean this is steel dude this isn't plastic this is heavy duty steel right here and you can feel it man everything feels heavy duty from the knobs to the way the battery goes in and out all that stuff is like it's not like cheap plastic it feels like it's like engineered to be like rock solid. I mean, this thing's heavy, man, this thing's like, a, I mean, this thing's like, you can have a workout to move this thing around. I could stand on this, I guarantee it would hold me. I mean, it's that, I mean, that's the quality of it. Um, it you can get it wet. I wouldn't throw it at the bottom of your pool, but if your buddies splash some water on it, if you have it around the pool, someone jumps in, does a cannonball, gets water on it, don't worry about it. It's not gonna hurt it. Um, your buddy spills his drink on it, ain't gonna hurt it. So in that aspect, it is pretty durable. And like I said, if you're, if you're someone making money on, if this is your, like part of your job, right? I'm a coach and, or I'm a, I do weddings. I'm a DJ at a bar. I, I'm a DJ at a club. I'm all that stuff. This is good stuff, man. I mean, or if you just, if you're someone that has parties and you want to have like, when people show up, you're going to have good fun and good sound. This is it, man. If you're like me and you're going to get it on with the karaoke parties and turn everybody out, this is what you want dude because i was i was shocked that we got two mics to work with the music no squeal no nothing i mean it's really good this is all i need in fact like i said with the jbl party boxes i would have to have both of those out here one for the mic one for the music so the idea that i can have this this is probably gonna be the karaoke machine for us right here this is gonna do it so yeah overall awesome product and uh like i said if you've it's not the cheapest thing, but it's not engineered to be that. It's engineered to be something for someone that wants the best. They want an all-in-one unit and they want something that's built 
you know, with high end quality parts and it's put together. The fit and finish is really good. There it is, man. That's a look at the Soundbox Bluetooth speaker, a mega machine that has some really quality pieces to it. This is Billy, I'd be tough.